Why? Why did I go for the Volkswagen Transporter when there's so many other vehicles out there? Last night was horrible. It was cold, it was bright, it was noisy. And the beauty of it is, we get to do it all over again tonight. It really has given me a lot to think about. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are not, you will know that I have been turning this into this. That's right, my latest project was to take a mid-size panel van and turn it into a camper van. And like so many other thousands out there, I went for the Volkswagen Transporter. The price was not one of the reasons why I chose the Volkswagen Transporter, believe me. You can pay up to 100,000 pounds for a Volkswagen Transporter and still spend your night sleeping in a tent. How is that even fair? What does this do that the Ford Custom doesn't? What does this do that a Renault Traffic doesn't? Why is it so overpriced and why do we keep still buying them? The most compromising element of the Volkswagen Transporter is its size. It is not big enough to be classed as a camper van. I have a long wheelbase high top Mercedes Sprinter. That, my friends, is a camper van. It has two social areas, a toilet, a shower, a kitchen. It is an absolute dream and that is what I'm used to and perhaps that is my problem. But putting a rock and roll bed in the back of here, popping the top and saying it sleeps four, don't be ridiculous. So full disclosure, this isn't actually in fact a camper van. This is a combi day van with a few facilities that point it towards being a camper van. But before you sit there and say, you haven't even got a Volkswagen Transporter camper van, how can you even compare it? Here's how. I've got a second row of seats, a table, and a hell of a lot of storage behind there. If this was a camper, I would have a small little kitchen, probably just a sink top, a hell of a lot more leg room between the rock and roll bed and the back of the seats, and that's it. So what do you guys do with all of this? These are a few little things that I like to bring camp in with me when I go. Fire pit, chair, some wood, a tire table, and a few other little bits. That's taken up a hell of a lot of space. Where does this go? if this was in fact a full camper van. In fact, the more I think about it, the best Volkswagen Transporter camper van isn't actually a Volkswagen Transporter camper van, it's a Volkswagen Transporter combi van. Look at all this space here that I have for more storage. I have storage the other side of there. That would actually be dead space. And yeah, I haven't got a kitchen pod, but that's it. So we are lucky in this country um, that we've got beautiful places like this down in North Wales. You can park as close to the river as you like. And that seems like an amazing idea. It's what I've done every other time that I've come in my other van. My other van wasn't a pop top. All that separates my ears from the outside world and that running water is one single piece of canvas. This is not relaxing. People stand next to bodies of water and say, I just love the sound of running water. Oh wow, it's so therapeutic. I am a plumber. This is closer to water torture than it is tranquility for me. I've stayed in tents a hundred times, don't get me wrong. All different kind of weather. I do actually like solo wild camps and things like that. But if that's what you're gonna do, when you've invested in a camper van, you want it to be a little bit more facilitating. So I made myself a lovely cup of coffee and I'm back with a fresh mindset. I have had the night from hell. I came here hoping to have a lovely time and it was scuppered by the Volkswagen Transporter and probably, at the moment, my shortfalls. Obviously, I could fit a diesel heater just under that seat there, which would take up no space and would add that extra comfort. A window blind set would just hook straight over the wing mirrors and that would black out the cab. I miss not having an awning, so I'd put an awning here. Great thing about a transporter awning is it's half the size of a sprinter awning, therefore it's half the money. Swivel seats, that would make a massive difference. That would open this up to be quite a social area. With a few extra creature comforts, my outlook on the Volkswagen Transporter as a camper van may have been slightly different when I woke up this morning. And it's clear to see that I still have a bit of work to do.
An abrupt end to a compromising camp out and I'm now getting ready for the working week. This setup actually allows quick transition from camper van to work van. And yes guys, that is a porta potty. The porta potty is a compromise that I'm not quite used to, leaving me with more evidence to support the fact that the Volkswagen Transporter is simply not big enough. I previously stated that without doubt, the weakest element of the Volkswagen Transporter is its size. Now I can tell you that without doubt, the strongest element of the Volkswagen Transporter is its size. In the last 20 seconds, I have gone through a coffee shop drive through and now I'm here in a multi-story car park. So even with the big wheels and tires, a 40 mil lift kit, a pop top and roof bars, I can still get into convenient places like this in the Volkswagen Transporter and you cannot do that in a Mercedes Sprinter. Four seconds of films cost me £1.20. I do. This could be your household's main vehicle, maybe even your only vehicle. It has enough seats, it has good MPG, you can take it on the school run and not get stuck. It is easy to forget sometimes that you are in fact driving a van. It has all the creature comforts that you would expect from a high spec car, air conditioning, heated seats, heated windscreen, heated wing mirrors, twin armrests on the captain's chairs. Even with the big wheels and tires, it's still, for a van, super smooth. Right up until it isn't. So this is in fact the four motion, which doesn't mean it's a four wheel drive by any stretch of the imagination. It means it's an all wheel drive. So that should mean that you won't get stuck on a campsite. Being a full motion, it was a natural choice for me to go for the swamper look. That is the big wheels and tires, the LED light bars that will burn your retinas out, the real, real rugged look. But you can turn these Volkswagen Transporters into anything you want. The aftermarket when it comes to a Volkswagen Transporter is massive. You can buy whatever you could dream of. This is easily the most modifiable vehicle that I've ever, ever known. As a perfect example, this is the Avano pullout drawer. This is what allows me to take this vehicle to work every single day, load it up with tools, and then if I fancy, empty them tools out, introduce some camping gear, and I can take it camping and have a really cold, horrible time and moan about it to you guys. But this is a perfect example of a product that is available for the transporter. This is at the high end of the price range. These guys are the first people to make this kind of thing. And since then, let's not call them rip-offs, <coughs> rip -off. but people have ripped this product off and it's available for cheaper. You decide that you do truly get what you pay for. The Volkswagen is so popular that you will pay a little bit more for it. But guess what? The Volkswagen is so popular that when you're done with it, people will pay a little bit more for it. This is my third transporter and I feel like I haven't lost a penny on any of them. The beauty is with these, you can do what you want to them. I took one and I slammed it. I took another one and I left it as a Sportline OE because I like the factory look. And I've taken this one and I've lifted it. The world is your oyster when it comes to the transporter. As long as you don't go too far and mess it up, there will always be someone out there that wants to take it off your hands. So let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments down below. Is there still a place for a mid-sized camper van such as the Volkswagen Transporter or is it just a matter of time before everybody goes for a larger van like the Sprinter or the Volkswagen Crafter?